In this video, we explore the Whitewater Walk at Niagara Falls. Located on the Niagara Parkway, just past the Whirlpool Rapids Bridge, it's a little building that looks more like a transit station than a place that would house an elevator that's been cut 70 meters down into the Niagara Gorge. Getting off the elevator at the bottom, you'll walk another 30 meters down through a tunnel cut through the solid rock of the Niagara Gorge. At the end of the tunnel, you'll be greeted by an awe-inspiring sight that'll take your breath away. We've been to the Whitewater Walk a number of times, and it's still an amazing experience each time we step out of the tunnel. What you're seeing here has been called the most perfect example of Class 6 rapids anywhere in the world. Class 6 rapids are the highest rating a rapid can be given as listed on the international scale of river difficulty. Trying to make a run down this classification is rarely attempted and often exemplifies the extreme difficulty and unpredictable danger of this type of water. The consequences and errors are severe and rescue may be absolutely impossible. The rapids along the Whitewater Walk are viewed as perfect as the rapids are simply formed by the movement of the water. It's believed the bottom of the river in this area is perfectly smooth. If the bottom is smooth and free of rocks, then what creates these monstrous rapids? With nearly 168,000 cubic meters of water every minute flowing over Niagara Falls into a basin that's nearly a kilometer wide and over 30 meters deep, all that water has room to spread out and slow down. However, less than a kilometer downstream, the geography of the Niagara Gorge changes drastically, causing the river to narrow down to just 160 meters wide and 5 meters deep. Squeezing all that water in such a narrow area increases the water's speed to nearly 50 kilometers an hour and creating these massive rapids that can reach 5 meters above the water's natural surface in some places. The end of the 300 meter boardwalk is a platform built right on the river's edge. From this location you get a much better sense of just how fast the water is moving through this area of the Niagara River. We hope you enjoyed this video tour of the Whitewater Walk at Niagara Falls, and maybe next time when you're in Niagara you'll consider checking it out for yourself.